Gilly the Kid respond and react to his son YNG Cheese getting hit up in their own city. He got a call at dinner time and Gilly the Kid knew it was a, a restricted number. He was with Wallow and they just got done with the million dollars worth of game podcast. Somebody frantically called him on the phone saying, YNG Cheese got hit up. Your son got hit up, man. It's bad. It's bad. He got off the phone and it immediately got hopped right in the Range Rover. Wallow hopped in the Ferrari. They pulled up to downtown Philly and the whole street filled with investigators. They got the shells on the ground. It's over 30 shells that was dumped in the Gilly the Kid's son and the two other people that got hit up. This was a three-person standoff, man. They all pointed the blicks at each other. He, they were trying to get his chain. They were trying to rob him, man, and he wouldn't give it up. Because they know that Gilly is his dad and that he's got a hundred million dollar deal. And so they thought that Gilly the Kid's son, just by having the chain on and him being a rapper, they thought he was rich like himself, like he was walking around with money like you see all these rappers doing. He became a target in his own city, man. When you get the bag, you're supposed to move out the hood. And that's just the only normal way of understanding it, man. Any level-headed person would know that if your dad just had gotten $100 million, you're supposed to not show your face to your old stomping grounds ever again, man. You made it. You got $100 million. You and your dad got that. So what you got to do going back around, hanging out with old friends, just being in Philly, y'all ha people have to realize that. Gilly the Kid can't tell his son what to do. He can't keep him out of the Philly streets. If he wanted to go downtown, if he wanted to go out and hang out with his friends and stuff, that's his thing, man. Gilly's too busy working and all that. And so he didn't know the whereabouts of where his son was and all the people that he was being involved in until they get a call late at night saying that they got to come down and identify his son. And this is a very sad situation because everybody knows at this point in Philly that he was a rapper, YNG Cheese, man. Like, he knew that Gilly the Kid was going to actually put him on to being a big rapper. And a lot of people was jealous for that, man. There are so many people who was probably hating in his own hood. And, like, a lot of ones he must, the people he went to high school with, the people who he grew up with, not everybody's going to be supportive. And so whoever it is that hit him up, they definitely had to know him. Or know who he was. You know, they clearly knew who he was because they had to know who the target was, who's the guy with the money. They seen the chains and everything. He's part of a rap group, Mac and Cheese. And who knows if the members of the rap group that he's in, are they beefing with anybody? Are they involved in anything that's going on in the streets? Like, what are they actually doing? How active are they? And this is the type of questions that they're trying to figure out because... Gilly the Kid and Wallow didn't see this coming. And Wallow's mad right now. He's trying to get the justice for this. He knows that he's been preaching and they've been saying about how y'all got to stay out the streets and all this violence and stuff on each other got to stop. And it happened in their own backyard, man. And this is the reason why you can't trust nobody and you can't, you don't really have control over the, that type of stuff, even from people close to you. Because at the end of the day, when you busy and they doing their own thing and you doing your own thing, every man for himself, man. You can't control where your kid goes and, and, and the things that happen. He was at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people. And when you got all those, the, the, the cards are stacked against you and you in a situation where you the only person who really got anything and you got the chain, the money and all of that. And when these dudes who's... There's no more PPP. There's no more of the, all the finesse is done. And so now it's back to, okay, you look like you got it and I don't got nothing. So we're going to run up on you. And so the details are still coming out, but it's two other people involved that got hit up. They made it out, but they are the lucky ones, man, because Gilly, the kid's son, he, he was unlucky. He was not able to have the opportunity to make it out of the other side of this situation. And this is what everybody's got to realize open their eyes and look at this and see it for what it is, man. Gilly the Kid got the $100 million contract, and now all of this stuff is happening, man. So you got to see you gotta see it for yourself. Like Wallow even said for himself, man, they know for a fact that they got to save all them people. He was trying to save the youth before something like this happens. They see it coming. This happens. Just think about all the people 
whose dads isn't a famous rapper like Gilly the Kid and they get hit up. This time, this thing happens every single night all across the United States of America. And so just because this is a rapper's kid and stuff like that, you got to understand this goes down all the time. So we really got to shine a light on this and basically look at the situation as an example to speak out against all of the stuff that they doing to each other. Like the community needs to come together. The community of Philadelphia, uh, Will Smith is going down there. Lil Uzi is going to be speaking. All the Philly people, the, the Eagles have put out a statement saying that they're going to stand with Gilly the Kid. And basically the million dollars worth the game show is canceled for tonight. They're going to remove it and reschedule it to next Sunday afternoon. And so what's going to happen is that after the whole funeral and everything, they still trying to figure out who the person was in the getaway car. They seen a suspicious car driving around the block. It was a dark color SUV and Gilly the Kid's son was leaning up against the Porsche truck. That's when the dudes came out and hopped out. They had all hoodies. The dude pulled out two blicks from his waistband. He got one in each hand. It was a nine and a 45. He told Gilly the Kid's son, YNG Cheese, he tried to strip him of the jewelry, of the chain, the Cuban links, and the pendant. And he had rings on his fingers, too. He had the rings and the bracelets. He had a star ring on. And so that's one thing. You can, you're can you not supposed to wear no star rings and don't wear chains with the pendant. I told y'all this, man. And people don't listen. What y'all got to understand is that if you a, a millionaire's kid and you want to be a rapper and everything like that, and your dad was already a rapper, you better be a, a rapper so good that you make it within one week. And you, you know, because Gilly the Kid's son, he's still out here trying to make it as a rapper and things are moving slow for him. So the fact that he should have moved on to another hustle, man, it ain't safe being a rapper. We know that the rapper is the most dangerous job in America. And that's his point blank period. And so he should have did some type of other thing because the only reason that he was targeted from all the evidence that everybody's looked at and the news reports that's coming out and the coroner's office statements, Gilly the Kid's son was targeted because he was a rapper and he came from a family that just had got money, like they got money now. And this is the only reason he was targeted. Like had he did something else, you can't just be, you already rich and got money. So why would you need to go and be a rapper? And be in the limelight and everything like that. People got to understand. Look at all the other celebrities, kids who's not rappers. They are very low key. You don't know who they are. You wouldn't even be able to tell that that's their parents. And they hide the money so well that nobody's out to target them because they're not walking around with chains, with pendants on, star rings and the and all of these things. And like being being over flamboyantly loud to get the attention because everybody knows that the only reason rappers want to be rappers is because it's not because of the music. That's one side of it. The other side is they want to get the attention. They want to be flashy. They want the bling bling and all the people to look at them. And so that they feel like they, you know, the world revolves around them. They want to be the center of attention. And that is goes against the guidelines of what you're supposed to do when yo when Gilly the Kid got a hundred million dollars and you're his son. Anybody else's any other family where the, the parents got a hundred million dollars, the kids they be low key. They not trying to blow their cover and give it away. They don't even need to be hanging out on that specific street in Philly. They don't need to be in Philly. They don't have to go to the hood no more. They got a hundred million dollars in their dad's pocket ready to go. So. This is the thing where you got to look at it like 50 Cent's son was not happy with the 6700 he was receiving. But see, at least he's not targeted as the, being a rapper, but he getting his money and everything like that. And so if Gilly the Kid would have just gave his son $30,000 a month and told him to stay out the streets and not even be a rapper then he would have still been here. And that's just the truth of the situation, man. Y'all got to open your eyes and realize that this whole thing only happened to him due to the fact that they got money and he still was trying to be a rapper. And when you got money and you want it and you're trying to be a rapper, but the money didn't come from rapping, that's the thing that you got to look at. Gilly the Kid's $100 million did not come from rapping. So the people in the streets 
they looking at Gilly the Kid's son like he's flexing on them. Because he didn't get the money from rapping. He got the money from his dad. So the, he's just actually buying the chains with his dad money, putting it on, and then going out into the streets and actually, like, you know, attempting to be a rapper, right? He does music, of course. Like, they do rap. They're in the studio, right? But the people that's around him, they took it the wrong way because they look at it like, wait, hold a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. He doesn't have a number one chart. He doesn't have a number one album. He's not, his stream not going crazy. So how does he have all these chains and all this money? Oh, of course, he's getting it from his dad. So they're like, they're thinking of it as in, this is the messed up part of people. They're thinking of it as in Gilly the Kid's son is getting all this money from his dad and coming around them to flex on him. When in reality, he's just playing character as being a rapper. What do rappers do? They wear the jewelry. They wear, they have money on them. They wear the designer clothes, right? So he's thinking he's regular. But all the other people that don't have $100 million families, they're looking at him like, man, we're in here with ripped jeans and, and dirty Air Force Ones. And you come in here looking like you already got a number one hit. And so they quickly realize that even if this... Uh, music thing and the rap thing don't work out for for Gilly the cut kid's son and his rap group. They realize that he's still going to have millions and that they are going to be left with nothing. So when the cold reality hit, when the cold reality hit and they realized it, this is when everything changed and Gilly the kid's son gets set up, man. So this is one of the scenarios. Let me know what y'all think.